Hello everyone, welcome to you all. So we're going to talk about diversity tonight. Diversity means so much more, doesn't it, to, to us uh, now than it ever has done before. And there's, there's a lot of talk, particularly in the last few months in our industry, around what diversity really means. This is last year's campaign list. 418 people, as you all know, many of you in this room, uh, for our industry, 79 women, that's 19%. Eight black Asian minority ethnic backgrounds, that is 2%. The Marketing Power 100, a bit better, 31 women and four from Bain. And we had the Marketing Week salary survey, didn't we, quite recently. Men in CMO roles earn 75% more than women. So £70,000 more. I mean, I just think, I don't know about you, but isn't that just outrageous? The average pay gap is still 21% between men and women. The drum, I think, most poignantly of all, um, published this statistic that says a third of all marketeers experience discrimination in their role at some stage. So the conversation this evening is much more about the difference it'll make to our lives and our businesses. It's about the difference it's gonna to make to people. I no longer believe that change will happen without us being active. I no longer believe that change will happen without everybody in this room and all genders actually taking responsibility for understanding why that change needs to happen and the benefits it will bring. It would be very easy to sit back and not say anything, but I think it's really important for any changes to happen that you have to role model. What single act, action, would you like to see or could you make happen that would help turn this sort of vision that I think everyone is sharing into a reality? Twice as many boys as girls take maths A-level and five times as many boys as girls take physics A-level. Now, I think physics is probably a bit extreme, but for me, you know, I'm just with my daughters trying to work out what A-levels to take. And for me, maths is the future currency which enables people to have a wide range of jobs. You can't just do one thing. We have six core objectives that, uh, and one of them is equality through and in education. If marketing can help create a problem, marketing can also help solve it. The one thing I would want to do in my organisation is to create a culture where being a self is nurtured, celebrated, and actually rewarded. What we have tried to create at, at our agency is a culture where you're allowed to celebrate your differences. And I talk a lot about an Avengers Assemble of people because it's about everybody having a superhero power and those superheroes <laughs> coming together and forming something brilliant. Yes, we help brands and products sell things, but actually what people see reflects as a barometer of how they feel. Mm. And you can do that working in our industry, and I think we need to talk about that more. I'm not concerned about being prejudiced against, but I do feel every now and again that I feel intimidated and I don't know what to do or say. Laddish behaviour, mm. how do you deal with it? It's almost a, it's a sort of weird language that, that men use to diffuse arguments, to, to bond after you know disputes, to, to, to create a sort of pecking order and a hierarchy. We don't look to hire people who are like us. We look to hire people who are different to us. They bring something new to the table. Hopefully they change us for the better and we hope we change them for the better. I'm kind of intrigued about the idea about whether you need mixtures of panels in the interview. And I kind of, I'm, I'm kind of curious about whether that helps. If it does, we should think about it. In terms of unconscious bias, we get presented with um, very dull shortlists almost all the time from mm -hmm. headhunters. Um, and we just have to say no to them. The warning I would give is that progress is not linear and it can also go back on itself. Yeah. So there needs to be, you know, unconscious bias is very clearly a real problem. There is a real, very real problem in people who just believe that change will happen by itself. Well, the fact is not only does it not happen by itself, but progress is very easy to roll back. Yeah. So yeah. I, I think that needs to be factored into any organisation is ways of measuring what you're achieving. Are we doing enough, quickly enough, and with enough urgency? And what what great examples of the panel seen in flexible working and a willingness to open up part-time to men and women to, to get more people in and address these issues? Thank you. For The Economist, we had that 
um, certainly within my business, we had that flexible working and it, and it makes people stay. How do we make the boardroom more diverse? Is it quotas? Is it mentoring? Business is in many ways more open to change because the economic arguments sway business. What we see in, on our TV screens, what we see in magazines, in newspapers, uh, influences society. And if you see more people from a BAME audience, if you see more women, then it becomes possible. I talked at the beginning about the opposite of loneliness. I know that we've all seen people who need our help and support uh, and need us to mentor and, and make a difference for them. And I would like to think that this time next year, when we come back to perhaps discussing this again, we've all done something different. Until we could every, more people play a game, until more people play, we'll never find out how good we can be. And I think that is what tonight's been about finding out how we get more people to be involved in our industry, generally find out how good our industry could be. There was a whole range of issues that were discussed this evening that I think need to be done going forward. This year I've decided that Women in Marketing is going to focus on diversity. It's going to be the number one issue for 2060. If you look at millennial consumers, for example, you look at a lot of the brands that, that, that are prominent today, they really sort of embody these diverse qualities that are really, really important. I think tonight, encapsulated that in, a, in, a, in such a succinct way and, and I really enjoyed that.